The next one I want to talk about is MRSA's diagnostic strategies. I've mentioned before that diagnostic strategies uh, found disseminated right throughout general practice and general practice handbooks. And that's an example of a one-pager diagnostic strategy for a common problem. In this case, it is headache. And uh, there is a five-step model, which you can see down there. And this is a fairly unique model. It's aimed to facilitate learning and also as a quick reference. If a patient comes in with a problem, you can look at the five steps. The first step is the probability diagnosis for that particular problem and a list of the differential diagnoses. But most important in that is the question the doctor should ask himself, what can't I afford to miss for this particular condition? And there they are for headache, things that are life-threatening, which you must not miss. And there's a strategy for doing that. Also, the other heading is pitfalls, which remind doctors conditions that we often miss. So it's just a handy checklist. And then there's what we call the, the common masquerades, which are the which we have a list there of seven common things which are subtle and we often miss. Uh, examples that are diabetes and depression and drugs the patient may be taking. So these are checklists. And the final question is, is the patient trying to tell me something which covers the, the psychological factors that you must not forget? You'll notice that um, down the other side, we have what's called the key history, the key examination, the key investigation, and little practice tips. Now, for a particular condition, there are also key questions which must be asked. Now, the College of General Practitioners have a program called Key Features, which, which the registrars and people setting the exam have to know. So this is a ready reference for people setting the college examinations. But the idea of this came from doctors who wanted a program on their computers that they could quickly look at when someone comes in with a particular problem. Uh, they can just access it on their computer and use it as a checklist. That's how it came about. But this is a very popular way of learning. So the, really the prime targets for the busy GP. Uh, it comes as an e-book. Um, here's an example. A doctor rang me the other day and said that he was, found it very useful. Someone, a woman came in with hair loss, just losing her hair. And he found it very confusing, but he found by following this checklist, he was able to work out very quickly by, and asking the right questions what the problem was. So he found, found it very useful. So this is the main use of it, but also it's a very useful learning tool. So that's the, the, uh, what's called Murtis Diagnostic Strategy.